Hello everyone, Gil Solano here, and welcome back to yet another neurodiagnostics discussion video where today we will be talking about juvenile myoclonic epilepsy, otherwise known as JME. JME is an epilepsy syndrome in which patients experience quick jerks of the arms or legs called myoclonic jerks, as well as generalized tonic-clonic seizures and quite often absent seizures as well. Onset of JME typically occurs around adolescence and otherwise healthy children. Most patients describe experiencing myoclonic jerks when they first wake up in the morning or anytime they are tired. Generalized tonic-clonic seizures typically appear a few months after onset of myoclonic jerks. The causes of JME are very complex and not completely understood, but some triggers have been identified as lack of sleep, extreme fatigue, stress, or alcohol consumption. According to a Medscape article by Dr. David Koh in September 2020, the best medications for JME and myoclonic seizures are valproic acid, lametrogene, and topiramate. The first medication approved by the FDA for JME is levetiracetam, or you may know it as Keppra. Anecdotal evidence suggests that zonisamide might be helpful in JME. However, Dr. Koh notes that if a partial seizure medication such as Tegretol or Dilantin are used to treat JME, these agents may not only be ineffective, but in certain cases, they may worsen the seizures. When taking history of a suspected JME patient, you should be sure to obtain the time of day these myoclonic jerks happen, if there is a family history of seizures, and any lifestyle change that could cause the patient stress. Also, make sure you do a photic stimulation as one third of JME patients have photoparoxysmal responses. Speaking of EEG, a typical EEG pattern for a patient with JME has what are known as three to six hertz generalized polyspike and wave discharges seen here. As you can see, this spike and wave pattern has a frequency of three hertz per second, along with polyspikes followed by a slow wave. And there you have it folks, this concludes our very short discussion on JME. If you wanna learn more, I'll provide some great sources in the description where you can read up on it. And if you found value in this video, please consider sharing this with a student or colleague. Also hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know what kind of discussions you, my fellow neurodiagnostics professionals, are interested in. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.